This is his fourth pro fight, Jeff. Uh, 17th fight overall. Yeah, so like we were just were saying, a lot of experience. Um, he's had about a five-week training camp for this fight against um, <laughs> against Monty. Uh, and this this is going to be a pretty pretty fun fight. So Monty actually requested this fight against Joey. Jeff. Yeah, Monty's the one that wanted it. Now Joey says, you know. I think he may be in a bit over his head for his pro debut. Yeah, you that's know, how Joey is, really sees this. It's his fourth uh, pro fight. He's 3-0 and as a pro. Uh, and I like the way he's coming in here. He's got the whole team backing him up. Now, he used to come in, remember, with the tall blue mohawks. Yeah, you never that was know kind how of he was going to show up. And now he's got the chops going, looking good. Yeah, yeah, the, he, you know, I think whatever hairstyle you, uh, hairstyle you put on Joey, he's going to pull it off. He, he's going to pull it off. This, this guy can, can do it all. Um, he's prepared for this fight. He anticipates, and I think he's right, Monty's going to come in. Monty likes the ground and pound. He likes yeah. to grind into a guy, squish him into the fence, and just kind of beat him down. So Joey says that he's really been working on his wrestling yeah, and his grappling he has, here. He has. He's really been working on his wrestling, his grappling, his overall uh, um, grasp of grappling and what that is, and specifically against Monty, because Monty is a very... Uh, uh, brute style fighter. Oh meaning, yeah. Meaning he comes straight forward, loves to grind, loves to go for the takedown, loves the dirty box. Is just uh, almost. <laughs> I've talked with Monty before, and and I've called him a buffalo. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's yeah. just a buffalo. He, just yeah. comes he puts his head in. He smushes you. Yeah. yeah. There's Monty making his way on in. Mr. August, Mr. right now August. Goose Town Anaconda, and now Monty's bopped around a few clubs. He's trained with us at the yes, Lion he's Pit. Trained with us at the Lion Pit for quite a while. Uh, here and there, bounced around. He, he went been to down Idaho. To, he's been down to Boise. He was uh, training Boise. out of a real high-level club there, so he has uh, really brought his skill level up in the past several yeah, years. Yeah, we, we have seen him mature tremendously, Jeff. Yep. He uh, he's got an amateur record of seven and three. Uh, and boxing is 2-0, and so he's had a boxing background with Chris Eamon. Uh, again, a wonderful gym, great gym. Definitely uh, definitely knows how to play the crowd, Jeff. Yeah, oh yeah, he's a crowd favorite. And, you know, his favorite technique, as we just mentioned, is ground and pound. So, and, and Monty is really, really confident going into this bout. When I asked him how he thinks this fight's going to go, he said, hey, I think it's going to be a finish in the first round. Right. I think I'm going to win by KO or TKO. And so he's supremely confident. It, favorite thing he likes about fighting, he said it's a true gladiator sport. How true is that? I mean, yeah, you, you, you find out who the better man is, and that's true. The better man on that night, you sure do. There's a lot of his team, Jarrett Lunsford there. Uh, you see Chris Eamon behind him also, as we mentioned earlier. Uh, one of the top boxing coaches in the state, just a, a heck of a ask, guy. You couldn't ask for a better boxing coach. No, he's a great boxing great coach. Great support for his team. And so I think an interesting factor of this, Jeff, is the fact that it is a pro fight. And that's something that Joey brought up, is the fact that they are going to be able to use elbows and knees like in ways that, that Monty hasn't had experience in quite yet. Absolutely. Now, as Monty enters the cage, you'll hear... Uh, uh, Again, a crowd favorite. Now, Joey got quite an ovation, yeah. as does Monty. So this crowd is going to be rocking and rolling in here. Joey Murray looking very relaxed in there, Zach. Yeah, he is. Real chill.
Keeping Monty working the crowd there. And yep. you, you mentioned earlier, it was a great point Joey made. Now in these pro fights, you don't just have to worry about sticking your neck out. You've got to worry about eating elbows and knees from every and different that's, angle. That's why elbows are so dangerous. Not only are you hitting with, with your bone, but they're, they could be thrown anywhere. Oh, uh, they, like in tight positions. So the, the, it could easily be something that Monty could implement well into his own game as he likes to, to keep things tight get in there um, as he's known for elbows could be utilized really well in his advantage yeah, we'll have to wait and see what these guys are ready to do there they touch gloves as they come out Monty and right away just immediately what we expected immediately Presses them into the cage and so again this is something that 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 Murray has trained for as you can tell he has an overhook with his right but uh, Monty's able Monty to pull him away him and, and drop him now Monty is a, a big fighter at 170 he generally has come down uh, from a walking weight of around 190. I think he's trained his way down to 170, but he's, he's big, he's strong, he's muscular. And that was just recently in the last couple of years. Yep. So he's he's trained his way down. So he is a big 170, while Joey said he he didn't really cut a whole lot of weight. So he anticipates Monty's going to be strong. He was aware of that. But Joey thinks that his experience and his cardio are going to yes. carry the yeah, day. Yeah, he here. really feels his cardio is going to be um, a lot better than Monty's here. So Monty's not really doing a whole lot on this position, Jeff. He's, he's uh, holding him in side control. A lot of what we've seen tonight, guys yeah, are, are oh, yeah. getting to side control and then kind of just holding that position uh, and, and then maybe just pitter-pattering a little bit, uh, which is scoring points, uh, but it's not too much uh, of action here. Now, uh, Joey was just able to, uh, if you notice, Joey has Monty's right arm trapped between his own legs, and that could potentially get set up for a triangle choke, a reverse triangle yeah, choke from the bottom. He's very crafty. Joey Murray, now he's going to kind of wall walk against the cage to look for a better angle, better position. Again, using the wall uh, uh, to wall walk, kind of kind of push off of. Notice he's keeping his hips up um, against the cage like that. Um, he's kind of getting far away from the cage, so he's not able to utilize it as well as he could have. Monty doing a good job raining down some knees. Again, this is the grind, the grind of fighting. A lot of guys are able to get where, where Monty is and just grind out their opponents. Uh, Very heavy. Yeah. Joey, once again, traps that right leg, and that's a, that's a crafty move to make. That's not just anybody's going to do that. You've got you've to have some skills to pull that Monty's off. Monty's doing a pretty good job of just getting it right back yep. out. Monty's holding position. Oh, there. Nice he's, elbow there by Monty. And he's staying heavy, and that will wear a guy out. So Monty's staying heavy on top of Joey, and he's dropping some, he's dropping some shots. He's doing lefts and rights, a couple elbows. Uh, we've seen a little bit of body-body head. He hasn't made any attempt to go to mount or go Not to the belly, he's, he's, he's pretty, pretty satisfied. Content. Yep, okay, yeah. staying yeah. In, in side guard and just working, just working from there. Uh, he's doing a little bit of shifting with his hips there to get into and again, Joey's Joe, right yep, arm. Yep. yep, and Joey's really wanting to use that cage here because uh, again, Monty's going to have some kind of weight advantage. There's got to be a weight advantage that Monty has in this fight. So. Not only is he on top, but it's, he's going to be pretty heavy on the Joey here, Jeff. And then you'll see Joey kind of looking to protect his head there, but he's keeping his right knee, for the most part, glued to Monty's hip. He does not want Monty to move to mount because he'd be very heavy there, very dangerous there. Yeah. He could really start to drop. Yeah, see how, see how Joey's doing a good job of keeping glued, just how yep. you were saying. Now, now Monty kind of switched his position. High. Yep, trying to kind of go into almost to a north-south-ish position. So we'll see if Joey's going to try and move out from there, you know, or if he's just going to going to more or less stay where he's at. Yeah, Joey's uh, not doing may... too much to get out of here, no, Jeff. He's no. he's really he just kind of relaxed right here. here. He's relaxed. He's breathing. I don't know if that's really too good or bad. A few elbows, but he's taking some damage here. Yes, he, he is. And like we were saying earlier, those elbows don't take much because they're just a little bit of your a arm. Bit of energy, and you can tell Joey's, Joey's head is, is a little uh, scuffed already there, yep, yep. right He's above his, his left eyebrow. Shots, probably an elbow. Those elbows uh, can really cut a person. Now those Monty's, knees like that are hard. Monty's boy. getting some knees going there on the side, and those hurt, folks. Those really hurt. Looks now like, he's kind of gone up a yeah. little bit, but... There, yeah, now he looks like he's moving in for a guillotine as Joey gets oh, to his yeah. knees. It almost looked like a knee to the head. I think yeah. it was to the chest, though. Yep. So Joey's going to wall walk up here. He's back to his feet. He has a clinch. But again, Monty, Monty has a little bit of momentum right now. Yeah, Monty leaning in, throwing some hard punches there. Looks really like some gonna, nice yeah. left and rights, and he looks like he's going to try and go for the double leg. He's going to try and, and get his like hands locked. Get it, he got him locked, and down he goes. Boy, he dumped him big. 
That was he's a got huge. one of his arms trapped now. He's in a crucifix position. That was a huge takedown, Jeff. Yeah, big takedown and what a powerful display of Monty's. Yep, Monty's wrestling and strength. Yep, because he wasn't that that he wasn't too no. uh, level changed he, on that shot. He was He was able really to pick low. up Joey right just so underneath his butt cheeks. That was kind of a gorilla move there, and it was well done by <laughs> Monty. The Buffalo. Yeah, I, the think, Buffalo. I think we have a nickname for Monty now. The Buffalo attack, but Joey's staying calm here, Mr. looking Rogers, to get an ankle. No more. <laughs> So he's just going to kind of ride out the last 10 seconds here with Monty on top and doing some defense. There you go. So really the, the factor of this right now, Jeff, is Monty's strength and ability to close the distance. Well, and he didn't take a, but a second. No, I mean, up the whole they, they touched he gloves, was he out, moved. and bam, he was on him, had him against the cage. And again, here's where uh, Monty had him pressured. As Joey was throwing some, some yeah, shots, yeah. but Monty was really able to capitalize here and then dive in. Uh, for this takedown here, right at the end of the round, which is a, a now, again a wonderful time to take shot. Quiet. He's trying to get him. Right there, right got there, him close. Fingers. Right he there. His as fingers. soon as they were closed, he picked him up. And yeah, boy, right here we see him, him dump him right on his head. And again, his hips weren't terribly oh, low. We that was pure strength yep. and will. It sure was. Uh, here he had him in a partial crucifix, but you see. Joey was able to use his left arm to protect the right side of his face, but Monty, we, we've said the word quite a few times, relentless tonight. <laughs> he is just yes. pressuring, and he was throwing some bombs there at the end. When they got to their feet, those uh, punches were thrown with bad intentions, and yeah, he were. was getting some good force behind him. So very impressive first round by Mr. August. So we'll see what uh, they've changed up in Joey's corner, yeah. how they're going to come out here for the second round. He doesn't want to have another round like no, that. No, and right? I, 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 if if Monty just mimicked this way he's fighting right now for the next two rounds, um, I, I don't see Joey doing too much in that first round to defend it. No, uh, so he's got to keep his distance. He's got to see. Notice right away, Joey's circling. He does not want to get against the fence again. Uh, and there and then Monty dives Monty. right in, throwing some knees pressure. to the inside of of Joey's thigh. Now those those are rough. Now what Monty has to be careful of Jeff a thing that he's had a hard time before in his fights is leaving his head out yeah and it, you do not want to leave your head out against anybody head on the outside he, Joey. he picks him up and dumps him again uh, Joey was looking for a, a guillotine but but Monty just raw strength and determination picks him up dumps him and he goes right into side control now right now he's staying glued to him he's again not trying to advance his position He's really pressuring down and, on and him. you know heavy, heavy exactly heavy and on. again this is a testament to the grind of fighting yeah, because absolutely. because it, although it does not seem very action-packed this is absolutely again oh. re relentless dominance by Monty and because exhausting. he is, is, a, is absolutely yeah exactly when you're he on the exhausting bottom, Joey when you're on the bottom and you're having to carry your opponent's weight and defend these aren't big, huge bombs, but he just keeps touching you. And touching, oh, touching, 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 touching. And then with that weight down, you can see he kind of looks like he's leaning toward potentially isolating Joey's left arm. I don't think he's going to go for anything there. I think I he's going to so. continue to stay heavy. He's throwing some back elbows now as he lays across his body. But Joey is having to carry Monty's weight. And you can see Monty is in great shape. He's a big, strong guy. And he is just pressuring down. So Joey's kind of building a wall there to, to uh, prevent him from advancing. Uh, but Monty's not really interested in advancing. Not really. He's no, going to go body, he's, body, head. He's going to go body, body, he, body. You know, the thing is, this fight is not going to change unless Joey makes a change. He's got to get up he, and get Joey out of there. has to, uh, he's got to move out of this position. Notice he's getting his knee in now. Yep. First first thing we've seen yep. from Joey very, on the bottom. Very, very nice In regards spin. to getting very out of nice there. Very nice spin. And Monty's got to be aware when Joey's down, he'll up kick very strong. He's got great yep. kicks. But now we're right back into it again yep. against the cage. By no means is Joey out of this fight. He just he can't he can't win it. You just with, don't want to be Monty's down the ground. Now he's dropping. Some now these elbows, elbows are here. pretty. That's what he was talking pretty about Pretty substantial. Earlier. Monty but again. Monty back down again. Now Joey this time has his arms wrapped up. So now he's got. Uh, you see Joey's going guard. for a triangle now. Yep. He's got that overhook. He's uh, Joey. Take... Yep. Joey's got the overhook with his right yep. arm. Uh, Monty recognizes it, but see what Joey wants to do is get Monty's right arm in his in, in between his legs. So see how Monty's he's grabbing. He's do that. He's pushing that away. Yeah, he's pushing it. Monty's recognizing it. If he can slip that left knee in. Now right now what he'll do is with the body triangle, kind of put a little bit of squish on Monty, oh, make yeah. it hard for him to breathe. Yeah. So if that's I, what he's doing on right, the bottom, folks. Right. He's not relaxing down there. 
he, Joey's working hard, and Monty is again just keeping unbelievable pressure on if him. I was, right, if I was Monty right now, I'd try to. Yeah, there. See how he got his left hand out of there. Yeah, he needs that was to a good posture move. up. Needs to posture up, but it's tough now that Joey has that body triangle locked in. He just let it go. Uh, really hard to. Yeah, body uh, triangles to, are tough. It's hard to posture up because there's a lot of pressure on your lower back. So, uh, and with, Joey, with uh, once Joey's again, long legs, that. Joey's long legs, he could utilize. See, he's a lot trying of to things. isolate on Monty's right arm, and he's if he can shift his arm, hips, arm he's got a potential here. arm bar there. These guys can shift into an Americana. Uh, coming out of Montana MMA, they got a lot of tricks. A lot of tricks in up their, their sleeves for yep. sure. And Joey's definitely showing that here. He's being very proactive in his guard. He's not just laying there. It's kind of a different story now yep. that he's in guard. Um, he's so opening he's his guard active. quite a bit, trying to move. Uh, it'd be interesting to see Monty here take advantage of those moments that his guard's open. Um, look at that right around. Okay, oh, nice there go. move, but he gave up his back. And again, Monty is so strong. He yeah, he's a great really grappler. Strong tonight. Great grappler. Really he's very strong. focused. Very focused yep. in, in, in the game plan of this fight. And what's funny about it is the game plan that he's executing is the game plan every knowledgeable person should have known. <laughs> we all knew this was what he was going to do, and he's doing it. And, and that's really important. And you can't important. stop it. Nope. Yeah, he, yeah, and I mean, that's he, the he trick. Can't stop you it. cannot stop Joey's it. Joey's having a hard time stopping it. He's, he's definitely in there. Uh, he's just being overwhelmed with Monty's strength. And pressure. And that pressure. And it's a downward pressure. It's going to begin to fatigue him. But you look at Joey stays calm on the bottom. His it's leg, you know, he's that looking triangle's now. He's there looking now. To try and get that, that triangle. triangle position is there. He may be able to lock this up here. It's folks. late It's late in the round. He's only got about 14 seconds here. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Monty's, difficult. Monty's, if you notice, Monty's just, just chilling. Monty yeah. is just frozen he's trying in his to get position. his arm back in there. There he's got the triangles it up, there. but it's a little late in the round here. I don't think he's going to get it tight. Yeah, so the round ends, but with Joey Murray active on bottom, but yeah. by golly, he spends too much time on bottom in these first two rounds, Zach. It's, it, it's got to be 2-0. I, I would, I would try definitely not have to, it that We way. try not to, to call these things, but it's pretty obvious that Monty has just spent more time in the superior position. You see Joey there dropping some elbows, but he just cannot stop that pressure. And you know the Monty, thing, great yeah, absolutely. And the thing that separates a lot of great wrestlers, <laughs> like from like the best wrestlers, is kind of what what Monty is being able to do here is relentless takedowns of like pure strength. Yep. Because uh, see, some guys can do takedowns like Monty or Monty's doing right now, but only a couple in a round. But yeah, Monty's yeah, done yeah. about four or five yeah. now. Yeah. Um, and anytime he, as soon as they're on their feet. They're he's, not he's apart right for about a second, it. and they're, they're right into the cage again. He's got him, he's got him squished into the cage, and that is really interesting. And that we all knew that's what was going to happen. <laughs> and, and you know what, folks? You got to stop the guy when you know that's his game plan. You got to find a way to stop him. So Joey's got to figure out something that's so going to keep his I, back off that cage. I think cage. so, and I really think if anything, Jeff, Joey is going to. I think the takedown's going to come. It's proven to not be stuffed. I, maybe maybe one time he was able to stop it, but I think Joey's really going to have to pull off a submission tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you know what, folks? Uh, don't don't look away from the screen here no. because he <laughs> is entirely capable of pulling Absolutely. anything off at any given moment. Uh, you can see the wear and tear. But he is there. Joey's taking a so beating there. tonight. He's still in that, and Monty looks good. They both look yeah, uh, would, ready. they got enough gas in the gas. I would not pull out Joey. Nope. It, is, it is Joey's... Uh, resume to finish finish fights and fit and, and win yeah he has losing. been in trouble before and he has come back strong so yeah. here we go uh this has really been the story of the fight here monty is 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 pressured uh you see joey there spreading his legs but yeah it's, it's too late. it doesn't it, it really doesn't matter Joe. Too a little too late he's, uh, he's, he's, monty is just overwhelming him with brute force yeah and his best shot now is just to get active from the bottom move his hips, get his legs in the game, and begin to look for submissions. You can see him kind of rolling out to one side. That's what he's going to do, but he's got to he's got to stop Monty's right arm because Monty's uh, postured up pretty good, and he's dropping fairly heavy shots. Now, Joey's got Monty's left arm wrapped up in an overhook, and yeah. Monty's got to be aware, he's, which he is. And he's, he's, he's been he he very aware of, <laughs> of anything that, that Joey's been, been throwing up because 
uh, Monty, if you notice, he's been keeping the same pace. Oh, absolutely. Through this whole nice, fight. steady pace. Nice, steady, and nothing too exciting. Yep. Like, I mean, he's nothing not like over, over the top. That's right, which will allow you to continue this pace for three full rounds. And this is a grinding, grinding pace. And you'll notice as Joey begins to isolate any of Monty's arms and begin to set something up, as you said, Zach, Monty's aware of it, yep. he pulls it out. You've, you've seen him use a spaghetti arm where he kind of yep. noodles that noodles arm out there. there. And now he's, he was he landed a good right there. hand there. He landed a good yep. right hand. Monty's getting pretty relaxed he, he, now. He, I think he sets his victories yep. in hand. and I, I, He I, backed it, off for yep. just a second. Yep. And before to Joey could get up, he dropped right back yep. down into position. So right now, with Joey's head against the cage, kind of limits his options that he has right now. And I'll tell you, when you take an elbow, to the face when your head's uh, yeah. trapped against a cage. That hurts, folks. And you can see he's yeah. cut open there. He's got yeah, a lot he's of scar tissue blood around in his those eye, eyes. And so, uh, yeah, Joey's got to start making some space here. You know, one hips. thing that he could start doing, you can tell he's kind of going over to, the, to uh, Monty's left arm there. Um, but you could just tell the, he, he's just gr he's, he's ground down. It's been tiring. It's been very tiring, 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 tiring fight. And so, so uh, he's, yeah, one thing he could do here is start trying to get any kind of space to where he could start wall walking. Right now, you can yep. tell he's starting to get on his right hip, um, trying to make something happen, maybe slide his left knee in, try to create that that, that shield block with his knee. Um, but Monty is being relentless, keeping Joey's head squished against the cage, keeping his own head down, and, and those little elbows, those little yep. elbows, in, in when they compile, yep. are devastating and just yep. grind a guy out. Absolutely. It lumps him up. It, it really takes away your will. And again, by keeping Joey pressed against the cage like that, it limits Joey's options. He just doesn't have a lot of options. There he is. Though. He's trying to get up on one elbow and get some space. Money pushes him right back into yep. it. So... Very impressive performance so far tonight by Monty Kristoff. Yeah, what a great pro debut by Monty. He's yeah. been doing a great job. Yeah, Joey's starting great. to get that knee in there, um, potentially looking for something. But if you notice, Monty is keeping his hips engaged, staying on the balls of his feet, and keeping the pressure right against Joey in always every way. Down, in every way. Always down and always in uh, against that cage. So it, it's been a it's been You're a long night there. now. He's he's opening up a bit here. Joey Murray, uh, he's opened his guard. Oh, looking for uh, uh, Omo Plata and here. Right now he's got uh, a kind of a rubber guard here and a potential. Yeah, let and it go. He's going to spin out. He had a potential Omo Plata and a potential Gogo Plata, but very difficult to get again against that cage. Yeah. You just can't get the angles that you need. And that's uh, when, you, when you have a big, strong guy. Yeah, pressure because you the, 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 cage, the cage is easily one of your best best. Assets oh boy, there. when you're on top, and again, or, Joey, your, or your worst enemy. Yeah, you your worst enemy, Joey, again, goes to a, a kind of a modified rubber guard there, but really nothing nothing to go on because Monty will not let him off that cage. I would, I would be, at, I, I think it's safe to say, Jeff, Joey's got about 35 seconds to pull something He's off. He's got there. to pull something off. He's got to got to get his feet on the hips push him get some, yeah, some, some kind of clearance and, and, and you can he's he's it's not like he's not trying something. he's really going for that triangle yep. something with that arm um it just monty is pressuring him so hard to where there's no yep. space no space at all no place to maneuver and by keeping him against that cage uh, joey just really can't can't get anything going here now monty was throwing monty some bombs back, now he throws he another bomb out, and then comes right back in uh, again, yeah, unrelentless wow. pressure by Monty Kristoff. Very, very what aggressive a display by performance Monty. by Monty. And a very hearty, gutty performance by Joey Murray. Yeah. He, 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 he never got finished. Off he got through there. And, and he, and he, he was looking for stuff, but yeah. you just can't do it when you've got this mound of muscle on top of you pressuring you down. So you can see here where wow. he's trying to roll as high as he possibly can. And there's just nothing there. Not there. Too I mean, much pressure. That's the that's the thing is space to Monty was his enemy. Absolutely. And, and, and he, he kept not he allow did not space. allow any yeah. space. And Joey, all he wanted was space and angles. Yep. Little that bit that of space. was all that Joey had was to, was to try and make space and angles. And you can't get it squished against the cage. So Monty Monty executed his game plan perfectly. And and Joey again, you see a tough, gritty fighter on the bottom. And Monty very aware because anytime Joey began to isolate anything, 
money would pull yep. back, shut it down. Um, yep. Very, very impressive. Really by both guys because really, Joey yeah. showed a ton of heart in there. He's a he's just a great fighter. He's he a tough guy, very skilled, which makes Monty's performance even more impressive. Absolutely. Because this was not this was not just, just a sack, sack of meat yeah, that totally. you got thrown in there. This totally. was a skilled, skilled fighter that Monty top of the line. totally yeah. dominated for three rounds, uh, utilizing his strength, his grappling, and just that grinding yeah. pace. Totally, totally just dominated, dominated every moment of that fight. Uh, there was not a, a moment where I, he, there was a few few things where he was in danger, especially at the end of the second round. Yes. I think if, I think if Joey had like another 45 seconds, he might have been able to solidify that triangle. Pulled something out. Yeah, uh, it was a heck of a performance by Monty Klistoff and, uh, and the Goose.